Today's video is the second part on DaVinci Resolve. Today I'll be showing you how to create your question and answer part of your video. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Bob Chislinski and I'm a band director. I make YouTube videos to teach and entertain you about all things related to music. If you didn't see part one about creating an intro, make sure to click on the link above. Let's get right into the video today. Let's get started creating this challenge video. And of course you have to have your clips already ready in your bin. And my video talking about the intro showed you how to go about doing that, but there's plenty of sites out there where you can go and get your clips and you can even go and download some things for free. I found this birthday background right here. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on that and I am gonna drag it down into my timeline and I'm gonna put it right here in video one. So now I've got this in video one and we are looking at the edit page. So that's where I'm starting here. I'm starting in the edit page. I just grabbed my click and I brought it down. I'm going to click on it, right click on it, and delete it so I can show you that again. Remember we're in the edit page. I'm going to come up, I'm going to grab my clip, and I'm just going to bring it down and put it in position to where I want it. And there I go. I have my birthday background clip in position, ready to go. If I hit the play button, this is what I'm going to see. Pretty cool effect. So now what do we need to do? Well, we need to kind of dress this up a little bit. And what I usually do is I come over to where it says titles. This is in your effects library. So at the top of the page, you have your media pool, you have your effects library, and I'm going to put those back on. That way I can see my media pool and I can see my effects library. I'm going to click on titles right here. And I'm going to come down and I'm going to click on text plus. And then I'm going to grab that and I'm going to bring this over and I'm going to put it right above that birthday background that I just put in there. I put that above it because I want the words, the title that I'm putting in here to be overlaid over top of the birthday background that I put in. So now I have that in there. I'm going to click on that text background and I'm going to come up and now I'm going to say number one. And now I've got my first question numbered and I could write anything I want in there. I could come back and make this question number one, whatever I'd like to do there. All I have to do is come down then and right here I can change the font. So you can see whatever I click on I'm changing. It's that easy. Let's come down to oh, that looks like a pretty good one. Niagara Solid. So I clicked on that. I like the white lettering over top of the blue background, so I'm going to keep that. But if I did want to change it, I just click on the color palette and I can click on any color that I want. I just hit OK and there it is. It's going to change the color. Pretty simple. I'm going to go back to my basic white. I think the size is a little off, so I'm going to come down to where it says size. I'm just going to grab this and make this a little bit larger. It's that easy. You can also come over and click on a number. I like to grab uh, the dial here and move this over. You can change all kinds of things in here. So I can change the tracking. So that's the distance between the letters. If I didn't like how close they were, I could change that. The line spacing, if I have several lines, I can change how close or how far apart those are. Uh, let me come up here and put number one on the bottom and then get the tracking lined up so we can see the letters a little bit better. And then here's the line spacing so I can move them farther apart or I can move them closer together. You can even overlap if you would like. All right. 
I'm going to come back though and I'm going to bring my question number one back to where it belongs. So, so far we've put our words in, we've changed the font, we've changed the size, we could change the color, and now um, how close the letters are to each other and the line spacing. And that's pretty much what I worry about when I come in here and I do that. You can change some of these other things if you would like, but I like to keep it pretty simple and basic. Across the top, we have layout. So I can grab these X and Y axes and I can change where my words are on the page this way also, just by going up and down with that. So we've got question number one in there and we've got our background. I need my text to be a little bit longer. If I look at my timeline here, I try to keep my text and this birthday background going for about 20 seconds. You could do it less if you would like. So I can see that I'm lining up somewhere around 16 seconds. It says that right there. So that means I'm going to need to take this out to about here, about 36 seconds. And it says that right there. So I'm going to take my mouse and put it over the text bar, over the text background. And I'm going to move it over to the right until I get this arrow pointing to the right. And when I get that, that means I can grab this clip and extend it out. And I can pull that all the way over even with my timeline. And I put that timeline right at 36. So now if I come back, I've got 20 seconds worth of question number one. And it's just gonna keep playing for those 20 seconds. I've got my birthday background. Pretty easy, pretty simple. So why did I do it for 20 seconds? Well, down here in the audio clip, I'm going to bring down my, my first audio clip. So that's going to be playing in the background, and I wanted about 30 seconds for that to play. Now, I'm going to extend out here a little bit because just like with that text, this background is too long now. It goes past where my text was. So I'm going to click on this birthday background. I'm going to bring my arrow over to the right until I see that arrow pointing to the right. I'm going to click on the end of that and I'm going to drag this over to the left until it gets even with my text. So now my birthday background and my text are even. So now when I hit play, I have 20 seconds of this birthday background with the title question number one over top. It's that easy, it's that simple. To learn more about music related content like the video you watched today, make sure to click on one of the videos on your screen right now. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. That way you'll get all of the videos as soon as they're released. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next video.